Hello everyone, welcome to Mini Orange. In this video, we will explain what header-based authentication is, and how it works. So, let's start. Header-based authentication is a method, by which the users will be authenticated by the URL's HTTP header parameters. These parameters are set by the reverse proxy server, which is placed in between the user and the back-end application. This solution is used for back-end applications and on-premise solutions. Where there is a requirement of single sign-on, MFA, IDP or other integrations which is not supported by those apps, and further customization is not possible. Most back-end applications do not have support for SSO. So we need a reverse proxy server in between them to set up SSO to authenticate the users. By enabling header-based authentication, users can log in to a back-end application using just the parameters of the HTTP header of the URL. Let's see how the header-based authentication will work for your back-end applications with a reverse proxy server. User sends the sign and request to the proxied application. The reverse proxy server will initiate an authorization request to the IDP. The user will enter the credentials in the IDP and if authenticated, it will send an HTTP request to the reverse proxy server, else, the access will be denied. Then the reverse proxy server will set the header for the HTTP request received, let's say, X app username with the value of the user's unique username. If the user is not authenticated, an error message will be shown depending on the backend application in use. Now, what are the benefits of using header-based authentication? Using header-based authentication for backend applications, it provides easy and secure single sign-on for users. You can set which parameters in the header are to be used to authenticate users. This offers customizability and reduces security risks. Message integrity is maintained as we know the content will not be modified during the authentication process. No third-party applications or additional software installation are required. I hope I was able to familiarize you with the concept of header-based authentication and its workflow. Thank you for watching this video. For any other questions please drop us a query at info at